Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Guide to the Scriptures under Fasting. To voluntarily refrain from eating or drinking for the purpose of drawing closer to the Lord and requesting His blessings. Okay, so... Just going without eating and drinking isn't enough. We need to really think and pray about our welfare and the welfare of others. We cannot be afraid to fast because it it physically benefits us to have a rest from food. It emotionally benefits us to not overeat and to take a break from something that could potentially become addictive if if we just don't take breaks from it once in a while. It's a spiritual thing because it allows us to remember what the Lord has given us and be grateful for what the Lord has given us because not everyone has the same amount of food. Not everyone has the same amount of blessings for various reasons, either by their own will or by the choices of others who think they have authority over them. But we shouldn't think less of anyone, even though our amounts of blessings may be different. We are put on this earth to care for one another and to support one another. And when we don't, when we don't care for one another and emotionally support one another, then the Lord is disappointed with us because we are not using the blessings that he has given us for good. It's a sacrifice to fast because people are used to eating. People are used to having liquids. And some physically can't fast, but they can still pray and draw close to the Lord and seek to do His will and to have spiritual strength. We shouldn't, we shouldn't get on people's cases for being unable to fast because some are actually unable to skip eating and drinking. His blessings are there for us and for the taking if we ask for them. The Lord isn't going to force blessings upon us, but he will give us that which we need if we are in want of it. We can develop great blessings and great spiritual strength through the utilization of the atonement of Jesus Christ. We can draw closer to the Lord voluntarily and we can refrain from letting our natural man out to play if we draw close down to the Lord because we all have a, amounts of the natural man in us the carnal man but one of our purposes here is to try and rid ourselves of that natural man and become a child of God like we truly are and become eternal because we're all learning about ourselves we're all learning about our capabilities and one of our abilities is that we are eternal if we truly seek to be everyone will die yes but everyone except the children of perdition will rise again so we need to understand that our choices, the choices we make today, will affect how we spend our tomorrow. And it will affect all those around us. When we, when we make a choice, that is our voluntary action. Showing the Lord what we seek out of this life and what we seek to do with the agency we have been given. It is good if we voluntarily take action that is for the Lord, but if we don't, we can repent because of the atonement.
and that's part of what fasting does. It gives us strength to utilize the atonement. That we might have courage to utilize it even more in every thing that we do. It's not just for sinners. It's for those trying to become stronger and closer to the Lord. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.